If you look at the hydrostatic tables in your stability book, you're going to see a number called the MTC. MTC is given for every mean draft in both seawater and freshwater. What we're looking at here is called the moment to change trim by one centimeter, and it's the number that we're going to use to calculate our trim when we're moving weights around on board. First, let's review a little bit. In physics, a moment is the attempt of a force to turn a body. If we want to look at a lever and the forces that make it turn from one side to the other, we need to look at the turning moments. A moment is usually measured as the force times the length of the lever. If I were to take a 100 ton weight and place it directly over the fulcrum of this scale, the force applied would be 100 tons, but the length of the lever would be 0 meters. The moment, as a result, would be 0 ton meters. But if I were to take that same 100 ton weight and move it to 1 meter away from the pivot point, the length of the lever would change to 1 meter and the resulting turning moment would be 100 ton meters. It's the distance of the weight from the pivot point that made the difference to the turning moment. Move that same weight to 2 meters from the pivot point and the resulting turning moment is 200 ton meters. Now if I were to take a 200 ton weight and place it 1 meter away from the pivot point, the force is now 200 tons while the length of the lever is 1 meter, resulting in a turning moment of 200 ton meters. Even though one weight is twice as heavy as the other, they are both attempting to turn the scale with the same force because of their distance away from the pivot point. The same principle can be applied to your ship. As we already know, a ship pivots or trims around its center of flotation. Let's assume that this ship's center of flotation is at midships. For each cargo hold, the position of its center of flotation is measured and recorded in the stability book. For the number 3 hold, we see that the longitudinal center is 20 meters aft of midships. For number 2 hold, the center is 20 meters forward of midships, or negative 20 meters and number one hold is 60 meters forward of midships, or negative 60 meters. Now if we were to load 200 tons of cargo into the number three hold, the force applied would be 200 tons, and the length of the lever is 20 meters from the pivot point at the center of flotation. The trimming moment would equal 4,000 ton meters. If we were to then load another 200 tons of cargo into the number one cargo hold, the force applied is 200 tons, and the length of the lever is negative 60 meters, resulting in a trimming moment of negative 12,000 ton meters. It's the same amount of cargo, but it's further away from the center of flotation, and so the trimming moment is much larger. Now both of these turning moments is going to have an effect on the trim of the ship. But if we were to combine them and find the sum of all the turning moments, we arrive at a net trimming moment of negative 8,000 ton meters. What this means is that after loading both of these parcels of cargo, there's a resulting force of negative 8,000 ton meters that's attempting to rotate the ship around the center of flotation. Now think back to earlier when we were talking about the MTC, or the moment to change trim. This number is the turning moment in ton meters that will cause a change of trim of one centimeter. Let's say for example that our moment to change trim one centimeter is 400 ton meters. If the trim will change by one centimeter for every 400 ton meters, and we've applied 8,000 ton meters of rotational force, then we can divide to find out that our ship's trim is going to change by negative 20 centimeters or 0 0.20 meters by the head. So, in order to calculate the change of trim in centimeters, it's the sum of all the trimming moments divided by the moment to change trim one centimeter. You can use the same concept to calculate a change of trim when you shift weights on board. Let's say that we started with the same 200 tons of cargo in the number three hold, 20 meters aft of midships. This time, instead of loading more cargo, we transfer that cargo from number 3 hold to number 2 hold, 
which is 20 meters forward of midships. We could do this calculation in two different ways. The first way is to calculate it as though we removed 200 tons from number 3 hold and added 200 tons to number 2 hold. The next would be to calculate only the shift in cargo using a slightly different formula. Since the cargo went from a position 20 meters aft of the center of flotation to a position 20 meters forward of the center of flotation, we could call that a shift of negative 40 meters, or 40 meters forward. In order to calculate the change of trim, it's the amount of weight that was shifted times the longitudinal distance over which it moved, divided by the moment to change trim, one centimeter. In our case, 200 tons times a shift of negative 40 meters divided by the moment to change trim equals a change of trim of 20 centimeters by the head. You can get the moment to change trim from the stability manual, but you can also calculate the moment to change trim for any ship using the following formula. It's the ship's displacement times the longitudinal metacentric height divided by 100 times the length between perpendiculars. One last thing. Be careful about the position of the center of flotation. Remember that the centers of your cargo holds are given as a distance from midships. But if we were to add cargo, your turning moments need to be calculated from the center of flotation, because that's where the pivot point is. This means that if the center of flotation is not at midships, you will need to add or subtract the position of the LCF so that the lengths of your levers are accurate.